Hey, hey, pirates, guess what? It is Kieran Ashhammer. I'm back. Pirates, I said, I meant wizards. For the next episode of the Dual School Fire and Storm walkthrough, I hope everybody's doing great. I am excited, guys, and we are here in the Tyrian Gorge. Oops, well, apparently I gotta do something up here first. The beetle Underneath carapaces. This ancient beetle carapace is a half buried stone. The stone is painted with sign craft. Okay. Based on what Sabra taught you, the sign craft says, Friend, go into the gorge and find the cave by Overlook Ledge. I will meet you there. So right now we are helping them get further into you the see gorge. What must be Overlook Ledge, but no easy way to reach it. Perhaps this cave will lead you up there? Yeah, good times, guys. I love how they did the visuals here in... Um, in chrysalis pretty cool stuff i think okay let's go to the cave because i'm sure there's nothing wrong with the cave right well thanks everybody for stopping in and watching the episode i hope you guys are doing great i'm doing fantastic we are continuing to work against more gaff behind the scenes and hopefully we're going to be able to disrupt her plans cave appears occupied i don't know who you are but please help me before these ground hornets sting me to death Let's go give Sidra a hand, right guys? Right. By the way, guys, just want to say thanks for all the support. Remember, there's three free things you can do, whether you, whether this is your first time here or not. You can always hit that like button. You can always hit that subscribe button. And you can leave me a comment or an emoji in the comment section. I love to see those, and it's fantastic. So whether you've done it before or whether this is your first time, thank you so much. And especially if you're a first-time subscriber, thanks for helping out and supporting the channel. Those are three free things you can do for any of the small subscribers you like on YouTube that really helps out our channel. So thank you much for that. Okay, we need to take down these three hornets. I really don't need that. Here, let's go ahead and get this up like this. Alrighty, so... Oh, perfect. Let's just do Fire Dragon. Bam. It'll definitely make sure they're gone. Now, if you do like whiz if you do like spiral stuff, don't forget my 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 Pirate 101 walkthrough is still going on as well. So watch my Witch Doctor save the spiral from another end. Lots of fun there. I wasn't expecting uh, someone like you, but I'm grateful for your help. I was sheltering here, waiting to meet an ally from Queen Myrtle Town when these ground hornets decided to move into this cave. Now that you've driven the ground hornets away, we can leave this place. Well, sounds like a plan to me. Let's get out of there. Let's go find Sidra. There she is. Now, what is your story? Sabra was worried? That's my big sister, but I can take care of myself. Though I could use a little help. Your timing is excellent. The patrols are so fierce, I have not been able to finish surveying the region. Can you scout the mine, the dragonfly stables, and the hundred legger patrols? I'd like your insight. Okay, let's do that. Scout the mine, the dragonfly stables, and the hundred legger patrols. Tell me what you think. First, I'm going to go ahead and grab some health first. Just in case we get drug into a fight because I'm not paying attention. Okay, so let's scout the mine. Which is over this way? Sounds good to me. The arachna are hard at work, digging out huge boulders and breaking them down for the volatile liquid metal trapped inside. The equipment looks fragile, though. A well-placed spell or hard-hitting strike might set them back. Okay. Figuring out ways to sabotage. 
Let's tell Sidra what our plans are. Oops. Not done yet. We have to go down to the Dragonfly fly stables right now. Luckily enough, I wrangled a Dragonfly already to, my, to fly around. That's why nobody looks twice at me. Okay, there are the Dragonfly stables. Hundred leggers patrol this area aggressively, making sure no rebels disrupt their operation. But you're pretty sure you could take them. No doubt about that. I can take those hundred leggers. Or digger drones. They don't scare me. Not at all. Okay, let's tell Sidra. Good. You are seeing the same things I am. We need to disrupt their operations as best we can. Can you break some of their mining equipment? Well, why not? Let's go break some mining equipment. One down. We'll just start going through the list of them. Another one down there, too. Fantastic. Now, as I'm recording this, I am full swing into my summer. How many of you guys are into your summers? Are you having a good summer so far? I know that if you are in school, you are probably on summer break right now, which is fantastic. Who doesn't like... Ooh, can I just do that one a second time? I'll do that one. Who doesn't like a good summer break? Apparently, they get fixed pretty quick. Okay, let's talk to Sidra. Well done. That will set them back a bit. Uh, I'd hope. I have a wicked little plan. But we will need a few handfuls of lightning bugs to pull it off. Sneak over to the lightning bug houses and gather some while I work out the details. Lightning bug houses. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Oh. These are cool. Oh. Agave leaves. Sorry. Okay, now that we've got the lightning bugs. Let's go back over and tell Sidra. Excellent. Those will do perfectly. We are going to use these pretty little lights to scatter the dragonflies. Before we get to the dragonflies, however, we'll need to scatter the guards. Defeat some digger drones so we have an opening. Sounds like a plan. Digger drones are going down. Oh, very good. Very good. So we're going to do this. Now, how far are we going to get in today's episode? Not absolutely sure yet. Yeah, we've still got a ways to go. There's lots of possibilities of way things might turn out. I bet you we'll run into a boss fight before long. I'm purposely not looking at how many quests I have in this world, because there's a total of 277 work quests here in, um, yep, here in Chrysalis, and I don't want to look at it because I know there are a lot, and I, I, I don't think we're ma I don't think we're that far in yet, so we still got a ways ways to go. Wow, that was quite a waste of time of me doing that. Don't you hate that you're moving so fast you start discarding things you, sh you sh weren't planning on discarding? Yeah, that's happened to me before. Oh my goodness. These guys are being quite aggressive. These guys are also really good to um, collect as animus as well. Um, any of the animus here in this world is really, um, is really solid. They can really help you knock out some enemies in higher up worlds. Definitely not a bad choice. Well, we got one.
Excellent. Only had to defeat a couple of them. That helps. You drove them off. I've never seen them run so fast on their hundred legs. Dragonflies naturally follow lightning bugs to the best food sources. The Umbra Legion uses that to direct the dragonflies' flight paths. Rush up to the dragonfly stables and cut the cords on the pens. That will allow the dragonflies to fly free. To get them into the air, you're going to have to release the lightning bugs. Once they are loose, the dragonflies will follow. How de devious, how devious Sidra is. Well, let's go ahead and put her plan into, into action. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. La -da 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 -da. You cut the cords, but the dragonflies just mill about, seemingly confused by their newfound freedom. Let's go up here and release the release the um, lightning bugs. Yeah, I think that's the plan. This looks like a good place to release the lightning bug. As the lightning bugs rise in the warm air, there's a stir amongst the dragonflies, and soon the great beasts take to the air. Oi! Someone let dragonflies out! Yeah, that might be me. That might be me. Okay, Sidra. That will cost them considerable time rounding them all up again. And it causes the distraction we need. The skies are clear, and now I can return to the last wood and report back. I'll see you back with Sabra at Queen Middletown. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's head back to Bastion, and then what we're gonna do is we'll take the take the portal back to the last wood, which unfortunately are the portals up over here? No, 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 my bad. I have to go over... Well, I was hoping this would save me some time, but I believe we have to head over this way because all the portals are in the um, silent market, as I recall, right? Right. Be nice if the portals were in the same place as where you teleported to, but that's okay. I can live without it. See, they're all the way down here, as I recall. Oh, come on now. Am I, like, not remembering right? Oh, my goodness. You're probably laughing at me right now, thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him wandering around looking for portals. Obviously, this shortcut is not the shortcut he thought it was. I know there's a shortcut over here. There's got to be a shortcut over here, right? There they are. Jeez. Gosh, I'm dumb. Okay. To the last wood. The odd adventurer just twisting around in the middle of the road. There is uh, Sabra. Spellbinder, you found Sidra and brought her back safely. Thank you. In the time you've been gone, we've seen a lot of movement at Camp Havoc. Tobias Splitsky would like to speak to you about it. Okay, there's Tobias. Spellbinder, between your report and Sidra's, we have a better sense of what the Umbra Legion is planning. Unfortunately, there is still much work to be done and not much time to do it. I'm afraid the Umbra Legion at Camp Havoc is getting ready to strike, despite the setbacks we've thrown at them. 
Can you brave Camp Havoc again and get a sense of how close their siege weapons are to completion? You'll probably have to question some night flames as well to take their temperature. Sounds good. Back to Camp Havoc. Boy, the rebels' life is tough, isn't it? Or should we say the resistance, or... Okay, scouting the siege engines. Notice how they look very similar to the digging engines, but they have catapults instead. Although you are not a master of siege warfare, you can tell these weapons are nearly complete. They could do immense damage to the last wood and the burrower villages. Okay, let's knock out some night flames. Okay, Night Flames are on the menu now. I wonder if we'll have to deal with some sort of boss before we get out of here. Let's go ahead and get these blades up and these boosts up. Fantastic. I want to make sure we have a big enough hit since they do have some resistance since they're fire mobs. Oh, come on now. This is annoying. The negative 45 more than the hit. Could have been worse, but it's not great. strike that first one who we're probably going to definitely have to hit a second time. Okay, should we just go ahead and hit him? Why not? There we go, that worked out. Okay, we still have to get another one. 
Yeah, going back to my point again, if they made the ones where you got to feed three, just make them two. It doesn't hurt anything. It just makes things better. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes, maybe, maybe the devs will hear. Maybe the devs will hear someday. Don't need him. Okay, well... What do you think, guys? Of course. Getting really annoyed with this. Okay, well, let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. There we go. That worked out quite well. Wizard! Soon our siege weapons will rain Kirby's fire upon the last wood, burning them and your bar, our friends, to cinders! Not good. So that's what the plan is. Tobias. Your reports confirm what my scouts had seen. Time is short. We must coordinate with the mice at Peppergrass Nook, or else the Umbra Legion will destroy us both! Instead of working on our defenses, I propose we turn the Umbra Legion's weapons against them! What do you say, Spellbinder? Take this message to Elazar Fireblade in Peppergrass Nook at once. It outlines a plan to capture their weapons for ourselves. Okay, so... Unfortunately, guys, that's all the time we have. So next episode, we're going to talk to Elias Fireblade, Elias, Elias our Fireblade, and figure out what he thinks about the plan. Now, I think he think I think he'll think it's pretty good. But anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, guys. Drop me a comment. This is Kieran Ashton for the Dual School Fire and Storm walkthrough. I hope you guys.